KSI really is in the thick of it. The reason is his new music video, Thick of It, is trending and not necessarily for the best reasons. The fact that KSI is trending usually means he's being trolled and this case is no different. Recently, his music video's lyrics have been a massive topic, hot topic, especially with how stupid and ridiculous a lot of them are. The thing is, with music and songwriting, it's not supposed to be quite so literal, whereas KSI, no for his music known for his comedy they're quite literal I mean he talks about his come up which I'll play a clip of in a minute and you'll see some of the funny responses however KSI tweeted or retweeted the Sidemen updates saying haters are looking real dumb right now where it actually has hit the top 100 charts for the Billboard Hot 100 now this is a major deal Big artists like Beyonce, Taylor Swift, they all fight to be a part of this 100 billboard. So as much as it's being memed, as much as he's hating, it is doing very well. Let's have a look at what Siggy607 put on Twitter. Haters looking real dumb right now. Meanwhile, KSI. Obviously, KSI's usual meme of his hairline. The other one put, they booked you in the comments. The top comment put, KSI cooked and gave us food poisoning. Which had 265 replies and actually commented back to the video. Eric Khan absolutely faded off edibles. And this is my setup right now. He's got the prime. He's got the music video ball. He's got the lunch -elise. He's watching the podcast obviously a big fan the next one was from zero who said have you seen your forehead lately bigger than your ego this is actually a troll comment the reason why he's putting that is because of these lyrics that it's a very self-indulgent song ksi is kind of gunning for this position of him going from nothing where in the matter of fact he's not from a poor background his mum and dad were immigrants but they did very well. They're both working professionals. So I don't quite like this whole narrative of him being very, very poor growing up in the UK. UK Rap Daily put KSI just secured a spot in the top 20 of the UK charts with his new single Thick of It, a prime example of turning hate into sales. This is a great point. Once again, KSI has turned this negativity and this troll into a marketing genius strategy. We've seen this with Prime, his fight against Logan Paul, turning that into a huge conglomerate of an energy drink, which is Prime. You can't help but not knock anything this guy's doing. We all troll him, but at the end of the day, he is doing absolute bits when it comes to business. And KSI is very aware, and whoever his marketing team is are genius because they know exactly when to jump on these trends. KSI actually reacted to YouTubers reacting to his song, so obviously he's very aware of exactly what is being said about his music video. Then you can also see the Araco TV I'm going to play this song at a party when I want everyone to leave. And even I showed speed reacted to this music video. People just trolling him online. But the absolute best part of all of this has to come from Nick A30, who actually made a video, a reaction video, and he was the only one who was loving it. He loved his lyrics. He was singing along. And obviously, as you can see, KSI was dying inside. Because to be honest, when you're a rapper, he's not really got a lot of clout in that scene. He's not really the person that you're going to want to be vibing with your music it's just not his audience let me know what you guys think anyway it'd be really interesting to do some more videos i'm back on youtube i'm back making some content i'm gonna see where this goes i'm experimenting with some new different types but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll speak to you later